What we're doing out here today is working on testing different methods of insecticide control for insects. Hi, I'm Holly Davis and I work with Kansas State University. I am an insect diagnostician. And one thing that's very important when you're doing this is to make sure that you have the insects you're interested in studying on the plants. And even if there is a natural infestation, you can't guarantee that every plant is gonna have the same insect pressure or the same number of insects feeding. So therefore, it's very important that we go through and place the proper number of insects or the population that we want on these plants. Today, we're working with corn, and we're looking at the black cutworm. It's a caterpillar that feeds on the plant, and true to its name, a lot of times it'll actually cut the plant so the entire plant falls over, and all yield is lost, the plant dies. Where you see a cup over a plant, we put that on to make a suitable environment for the black cutworm. We're putting third instar larvae on, which are about maybe half an inch to a quarter of an inch or three quarters of an inch long. And when we put them down on the soil, we want to make sure they climb on the intended plant. I mean, we're surrounded by corn here. If we just set the larva on the soil, there's no guarantee that it's going to infest the plant that we intend. So we put the cup down to sort of trap the insect or, uh, around the intended plant, if you will. And then we just simply put the flags in place to make sure that we hold the cups down. And we're also working with the corn rootworm. And this has been a big, very popular pest in Kansas for a number of years. They are infesting with the corn rootworm eggs and they've dug small trenches into the soil uh, to break up that hard surface and they're spraying the eggs. They're in an agar solution, kind of a, a gooey solution and they're spraying that right on into the soil where those eggs will hatch and then be close to the corn roots where they can begin feeding. And they'll hatch and those larvae feed on the corn roots, weakening the plant. And in Kansas, where we have a lot of wind, if those root systems are weakened, a good wind can come through here and blow over those plants. And again, uh, total yield loss possible from that plant. The research that we're conducting today, it will probably be two to three years before Kansas growers um, are able to use the technology and the results that we, we find here. Um, generally, a lot of the stuff has been tested a lot in a greenhouse and it's been shown to be effective and safe, but uh, a field situation is a, is a whole new ball game. So they wanna see it come out, be used in a field situation where growers will actually be using it and make sure that, that it still works well.